Well, if you the big whips and you never get sick of nose really clips, then I have got a present for you. It's a video blog from Mr. BQ. Do yourself a favor and tune in to his YouTube. Well, I know you can't see me. That's because it's 4 or 50 in the morning. I had to get up super early to go to the airport because it's time to go racing some snow bikes again. Hopefully, I don't suck at it this time. Hopefully, I somehow magically got better than last time because I was pretty bad last time. But it's one degree, so I've already been training, obviously. It's 450, which obviously I got to ride one, so that's cool too. So this is great. This is training, the most training I've ever done in my life. It's good. Looking forward to going to Wisconsin. Starting the trip off healthy. We got the Cinnabon. It's still dark out there. I don't get it. Why would anybody get up this early? It doesn't make any sense. It's like wiping for your food. It just doesn't make any sense. So you guys thought I was coming up here to race snow bikes, but seriously, I came up here a little about 4 o'clock in the morning, and now it's uh, 1 or 1.30, and uh, this is me right now, pulling by myself. Well, this guy right here looks really good, and I don't know who he is, but he gets a strike almost every time. trip continues. I got picked up yesterday. Brooke picked me up from the airport in Chicago and we drove up to Wisconsin. So we left this morning and I got my taxi driver here. Pretty stoked that uh, that she's helping me out with my, my trip. So she wouldn't even let me drive. She says I'm not allowed to drive her car and I don't really get it. I don't understand. She's really, uh, she's really picky about people driving her car. Then we got races Friday and Saturday, so hopefully it goes better than last time and I actually do decent. Um, it's just a whole a whole nother thing for me. It's it, you, you like you're expected to do good and you're expected to like get on that thing and even from myself, like I expect myself to be able to get on that bike that I feel at home on and and go just as fast as I normally go, even though it's really not that fast. It's faster than I'm going on a snow bike, but. I feel like I should be able to just get on there and be comfortable enough to ride it like I know how, but it's just a whole nother uh, learning curve whenever you get on it. So it's um, it's different, but I'm trying to learn how to do it and trying to learn quick. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I learn before the end of the series because uh, I've got a few more races to do it. So pumped to be up here in Wisconsin racing some snow bikes. What's up, dude? Trying to get this ski to work, and I have no idea what I'm doing. That's perfect. I forgot uh, my main rubber that goes right in there. That's always a problem. And I forgot my bolt. So I took this off the snowmobile, and we're gonna try to get it to work. Hopefully. So you got snowmobile parts, and you're gonna put it on that, and you're gonna try to race this weekend, yeah? It's gonna try. That's a key word there, try. I love it. <laughs> So we get to the races, and Brooke says, I need some chili, now. And I said, oh, I need some crackers. I ain't, I ain't had this many crackers since last time I had chili. It's good. So, we're gonna go watch some snow stuff. I don't even know, snow activities. I don't even know what they call these things, but we're gonna go watch them. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something right now. You're my hero. I know. Because I came and tell you, you would think that there'd be a bigger difference, or that there wouldn't be a bigger difference between the black and the white ski other than the color. But that ski straight up dominates that one. And Colton, you took it off your bike. I did. And that, was, you, that was my ski. And you these are my forks. Everything you see here is mine. 
Holden's front forks in the ski are now on my bike. And we have to race against each other. He just did that just because he made a bet that one of these races I would actually beat him this year. And he's just trying to make it a little bit more even the by odds. putting odds my ski favorite. on his bike. And it actually, I might not have told anybody, but my transponder is on your bike and yours is on mine. So Good. you on paper will not beat me. Yeah, no matter what, you're gonna, <laughs> you will beat me in one way. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Leaving the hotel in the morning. It's really cold, but I have the breakfast of champions. Sour gummy bears. Ah. So we're waiting on Colton. Another breakfast of champions. Might only had one sour gummy bear. But I'm going to have two Nutty Bars because they're so good. Brings me back to third grade. Mom used to pack these things for me at my lunch every day. Colton Instagrams everything. Brett vlogs everything. These Alpine Stars are sick, but they don't really stay that warm when it's 20 degrees. So we're putting them in front of the heater. I'm real pumped about putting those warm boots on. Brooke, getting her pumped up there. Killing it. Getting the, getting the Air Pro, super pumped, and we're gonna take this thing out and hopefully jump a double, maybe a triple, if I'm feeling frisky. We'll see. So we're up here in the Great White North, and they do stuff like that. There's a snowmobile around the sidewalks. I just don't understand. It's so weird. We got a snowmobile in the way. Just enjoying the day there. Going up to the quick shop, mate. Ah, I forgot that's Australian. I forgot we're in the north. Not Australia. So, I uh, got to go out there this morning, did a little practice. It was cold. And uh, rode like, I don't know, I rode a lot better today. I felt better than I ever have on a snow bike. Still not fast, but I feel better, more confident, more uh, stable jumping and uh, less sketchy. But we're gonna go grab some Subway and then uh, it's time to go. Um... Man, look how red my face looks. Is my face that red? My face looks really red. Um, it is, uh, yeah. The So we're doing, instead of Instead of like a heat race main event, there's not enough riders to really make a main. So I made the main, that's sweet. But there is a, there's just a two-moto format. So they decided, for some reason, to do 20-lap motos. I don't even know a time in my life I've ridden 20 laps without stopping. But I'm looking forward to that. Luckily, it's only like 30-second lap time. So that was for the fast guy. So mine's probably like about a minute. So I'm running a 20-minute moto. I had to fill up with gas, stop for a pit stop on the way. Looking forward to it though. So, two 20 minute models, one this afternoon, one tonight, and uh, then tomorrow the same show. So, going along with the healthy breakfast, I gotta have DQ because they named it after me. They just forgot to put the middle thing right there in the, in the D. It's, it's supposed to be a BQ, but they screwed it up. So, I just let them go with it. So, just got, uh, got ready, got some food. It's time to go race a little, short little 20 lap stint. So, Stoked. So after that Dairy Queen, I just ended up having to take a pre-moto poop. Because, I mean, why do you think Ken Roxon gets such good starts? He takes a poop before every moto. And that's the way to do it. I mean, that's Honda's absolute whole shot is backed up by the absolute poop. Lightest weight, fastest bike, whole shot every time. So that's my goal. I'm gonna try to get the absolute whole shot on the snow bike. And uh, first moto's coming up in like, like 10 minutes, so sweet, can't wait. We got a main event tonight at like, at probably 8.30 or nine o'clock. The heat race went pretty good. It was like 20 laps, which was, it was gnarly, but I uh, I rode better than I've ever ridden at a snow bike race, but I um, still crashed, which surprise, <laughs> surprise, but I still rode better. Um, I got sixth. So luckily Colton pulled off and gave me a place because he wasn't about to let me just beat him. But his, uh, he had a little malfunction there. I think his uh, his right rear tire went flat or something. I don't really know. 
But uh, looking forward to the main event. It's gonna be sick. I'm having fun riding some snow bikes now. I've I've uh, got it feeling a little bit more like a dirt bike and where I'm a little bit more at home. So I'm just gonna eat some more popcorn because we've been on the healthy eating diet today and we're gonna go racing. So we've been eating really bad all day and we get to the grocery store and I'm thinking I need to get some organic stuff to, to help me get my mind right for my main event tonight, my second moto. What are these? What are these? Cheese turds? Is that what they are? Cheese curds. Oh, or turds. Super duper. That's health food, right? Yeah, it that's says what, so. Yeah, that's what you guys eat. It's in the organic section. It's got to be healthy. It's all natural. Perfect. Colton got me set up. When in Rome, eat the cheese turds. Brooke and Colton are contemplating what they're going to eat here. They're not really sure whether they want the cheese turds, the liver, the onions, the the whatever I don't got know, cheese so ball that. behind you but guess what i found i know i'm gonna be riding a snow bike today but i might ought to eat some string whips just because the name is pretty rad um, when you're in the gray white north and you see a you see an ice castle you can't just not stop and check it out I'm not really sure. I haven't been inside yet, but I think there's a bunch of ice holes that live in there. I'm gonna go check it out. Can we go in? Friction. I want to melt my way in. <laughs> so Colin's got this big old truck. He's got this girly thing on top that you can't even put anything in the bed. So we have to put fuel in the, in the cab. Well, Brooke. That's what I get for leaving my bike sitting up. I thought those snow bikes were supposed to stand up. But it turns out, I'm sorry, Bill. I'm sorry, Josh. But my helmet tipped over, or my bike tipped over, and my helmet was on the bars. Broke my visor. Super bummed about it. But at least it wasn't for me crashing for once. When you got a broken visor, and you only got one helmet, you stick it up. It's the only way to fix it. So we're just gonna, if we can get this sticker here off. Fusion graphics are our best, not only for on your bike, but they also fix helmets. So you're welcome, Scott. We got this thing dialed. Now it just looks like style points. BQ365 sticker and the 365 MX sticker. Just off. Both made by Scott at Fusion Graphics. Both just the most high tech. It's good as new. Golden. Snow bikes and fireworks. Yes. How could life get me better? We got a little bit of everything up in here. So here we are getting ready to race our Sega Moto, our main event. And we put a poll out on Instagram. Should we run the mullet or not? We're running it. Guess who won? We're running the mullet. So if you don't know what Instagram is, it's a pretty sweet app. You post sweet videos, pictures, anything you want. Follow us, BQ365, BQ365. Colt 801. Easy Free enough. Auto. Easy enough. So. You'll see more awesome if you if you follow us on Insta. So check us out. See ya. See ya. So we have ice racing dirt bikes. It's two stroke Tuesday, vintage Wednesday, and four stroke Friday at the same time. It's a complete mess out here. It's gonna be awesome.